<laughs> he's already got the gate open for me right here y'all look at that <laughs> knew I was coming about to pick up something here hey girl hey girl all right I'm gonna turn the camera off hey girl you smell me hmm? you smell me I'm gonna turn the camera off while I grab with both hands because I don't know how she's gonna act here all right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you back out right here real quick where you can see. So this is Sadie. This is Sadie. She come from uh, the same guy where Jason and I got Tater and Dodge from. And uh, another friend of ours ended up getting, getting her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take her and I'm going to work with her a little bit and uh, mess with her. Now me and Jason, both both of our dogs, uh, Tater and Dodge, both can breed to, to Sadie right here. So... She is a toad, man. She is thick. You are thick. Tater's going to like you when we get down there. So I'm going to put her up, and we're going to take her take her to the house real quick and get her put up. All right, so we're in my shop tonight. Y'all going to get a little shop time here. I pulled this trailer uh, probably 26 and 700 miles with it now. <laughs> uh <laughs> Whoever thought it would be a good idea to put a three-foot tongue on the trailer has lost their blame mind. I don't care who you are or what you are. A three-foot tongue is too short. And the first chance I get, it won't be during hunting season, I'm going to flip this trailer over and I'm going to take that tongue out of it and I'm going to put a four-foot tongue on it. Or four and... Actually, my other one's got a four and a half. If you, It's four foot to, to here where the metal's cut and then when you add the tongue it gets about four and a, a little better than four and a half but the three foot is just too short on the trailer just absolutely too short and like i said the other day when i did the video about this trailer it, this is just a get by trailer something else i'm going to do also i'm going to build a new gate for it i'm going to build a gate and the gate's only going to be about this tall right here and that's all i need is that right there and uh We'll take this gate off and just save it is what I'll do and build an entire new one for it that's shorter on it also. I did get uh I did order some more plastic plugs to go in the pipes. There, see it's got them, it just don't have all of them. That one right there is kinda a little bit loose right there. So probably got lost out in transport or something. It's missing one there. And here, I think this one over here has got one in it. Yeah, it does. All right, we're gonna do some modification to the jack too. We're gonna we're gonna fix that that BS right there also. So y'all hang tight. So what I did was I bought a caster from uh, here in town. It's rated for 900 pounds, a five-inch steel caster to roll around, and I just tacked it to the bottom of the foot. Now you can buy those things that'll actually go ahead and pin on right there, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted something a lot more heavier than that because the reason why is I'll be unhooking from that ranger in here, and if I want to roll it back or something or roll it forward or anything like that to kind of move it out of the way, I need a little bit more butt than one of those uh, plastic wheels on it because that ranger is pretty heavy when you got it all the way up here on the neck. So that's the reason why I did what I did there. And I've just got it tacked on all four sides pretty good. Well, I've actually got two wheels here and two wheels there and then one on each side. So um, I can take it off. I can either take the whole foot off of it or I can take and just cut through the wheels right quick on it. Pull my caster off. And that's also a greasable caster. It's greasable right there and on the turntable on the bottom of it too. So now what I'm doing is, is uh, I had to split a washer. I've got a washer right here and I just split it. And so I'm going to fit it around this shaft, this jack, this thread shaft right there. And I'm going to tack it to it. And what that's going to do is that's going to keep that shaft from going, trying to go down inside the jack. And uh, because that's what the handle does. The handle actually holds it up there. So we're going to fix that up real quick. So the cool thing about it, see, I backed it up in here with the truck. And then I just rolled it right over here and got it up on my plate. For those of y'all who are new to my channel who hadn't been watching for a long time, See, I've got this metal table right here, and I've got it on, this is a 8x8 uh, eight eight, uh, 
pad right here that the table's on, and it's grounded. It actually, uh, I've got a lead coming off my welder over there that is bolted to that piece of flat bar and then welded there. So everything on this table, floor, everything is grounded. So I don't have to drag my ground lead around or anything, make sure I got it hooked up just like this right here. So all I had to do is roll the trailer over here and let it get up on to the uh, metal right there and it's grounded. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna weld that washer on real quick right there. So I got that done. See all I gotta do is roll, I got a tripod over there. I don't wanna hit is roll this thing around. And go anywhere I want to go with the trailer now. Okay. And putting that putting that caster on there gave me a little bit more uh I don't have to go as far as travel with it as far. So I did run that jack down the other day with it with the ranger sitting all the way up here on the front of it like it too. It it did did pretty good too. I want to point this out too. There were people who asked why they didn't use this to put the jack while they put this plate right here. That's why. Because you couldn't open your tailgate without hitting a jack. See right there? That's one. I was wondering the same thing too. I just figured that out a while ago. And exactly. Well. So you see how it done that? with the ranger on there. All right, now let's shove her back. That's why I did that. So, all right, so that's gonna work, gonna work. All right, it's supposed to rain here in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stretch. So it's rain all night tonight here starting after a while and then uh, I think a good bit tomorrow too I believe so I'm gonna go ahead and strap it down and that way if it is raining in the morning I don't want to go hunting I'm just gonna here and back in my shot real quick hook up to it and uh, and and take off going wherever I'm gonna go Dig on snow falling there. Look at that. Boy, this has the potential to uh, to get really ugly tonight. That's a new manifold from a loader there, and all the stuff that goes with it here too. Right there in the box. Let's see how much all this stuff was right here. And get the paper open. Let's uh, focus. There, twenty-two hundred dollars for that stuff. For what's in for what's in that bag in the manifold right there is twenty-two hundred dollars. So, planning on going deer hunting in the morning, but it's gonna kind of hinge on several other things. I've got the ranger loaded up on the trailer here and ready to go. Which I've seen that in the beginning of the video, and uh, but we're just going to see what the what the weather does tonight with everything the way that it the way that it is, and 
in this because we got we was having a bunch of sleet falling a while ago and it's kind of swapped to some pretty heavy rain and all that now and when i was doing during the live feed and so uh i'll get up in the morning and see what it's gonna do we didn't work today and then we're not gonna work tomorrow we've already already called it off for tomorrow too it's just man it's this week right here is probably already shot probably with what we're getting in and they're calling for rain again friday so i doubt uh, we worked monday we got 18 loads uh, monday and uh that may be all we get to do this week here uh sitting here thinking about this Derek got him a bumper on his truck on his duramax very similar to mine rick built him one it squared up and uh put it on on his for him there uh, last week uh, rick does a fantastic job here kind of local to our area hand builds those things and does a good job i still gotta get a winch for mine i'll get one later I'm not really worried about it right now it's not a big concern right now i just want to get through this holiday season right now that's my focus that's mine and jill's focus is to is to make it through the holiday season because boy we jill and i have been hopping like crazy or whatever because it takes a it takes a lot to make cotton top three go that's for sure so we're gonna go to the house and i've got a whole bunch of traps sitting on that table on the right right there uh, about to hit that wide open with the coyotes and stuff like that and i've got some more trapping stuff coming that should be here maybe tomorrow i don't know and uh, that i got ordered i'll go over that where i'm getting my stuff from and all that uh my coon traps right now are shot of course because of rain so i have to ride around and get all them rebated back up and everything because the rain kind of jacks all your trap sets up and everything especially that cat food and stuff like that so uh uh come in here in my shop fuel my truck up and we're about to uh head to the head of the house now i'll take y'all in there and show y'all what i got going on <laughs> as long as i don't get you no i'm not gonna get you so we got what we did is, is i ordered on the indigo blue and they're already on the website too i got smalls and mediums on them so uh if you have a child, I had a lot of people asking about them or smaller sizes. Like I said, I've got smalls and medium, both of them. And then uh, I'm restocked on all the long sleeve stuff here. Uh, extra large. I think these are uh, 2X and large right there on them. So that's a long sleeve. And then I got restocked up on the 2X. That was the size I sold out quickest. I had actually forgot I made this order right here. So I've got um, five more uh, 2X in the zipper hoodie right there. So uh, we're good to go on that. And they're all back relisted on the website. So everything that's in stock it will show in stock if you click on it. And so if it's out of stock, it will, it'll, it'll show you. Now I'm running... Uh, I've only got one uh, extra large hoodie left here is all I've got. And I'm not going to be getting any more stuff uh, before Christmas. So what, I, what I've what i got is what I've got. I'm out of 5X on the orange. I'm out of 4X on the tan down there and 2X on the green there. And uh, so still decent. Let's see. The large hoodies on the 10 are gone, completely gone. I still got extra large, 3X and 2X on them. And uh, so still okay on most everything right now, except for like uh, the extra large zippered hoodies. I'm done with them for now. I ain't gonna have any more of them before Christmas or anything. So we're good to go. But like I said, we got this all the orders that came in a day before about three o'clock already got shipped today and then what came in a night is already boxed up and will be shipped out tomorrow so staying right on top of all of that right there so uh there's something else i want to show too i have a lot of people that make orders and they get them and they immediately turn back around and order something else all of my stuff is top shelf it's nothing el cheapo or anything like that this logo right here is not like a normal uh, screen printed shirt or whatever where it's like 
it's a solid and you feel it like something thick on your back or anything. This is actually ink that's impregnated into the thread there. So you don't even feel that logo at all on your, there's no, there's no lip or anything like that. And all my stuff's like that. I mean, the, the, when people got, uh, have gotten caps and everything and they, they, I mean, you see the embroidery work on those things. I mean, just absolutely fantastic on them right there. And uh, so when you order something, it's going to last and it's going to hold up too.